Hi, this is Christy. Today I want to talk about discovering ways to socialize effectively. A few weeks ago I talked about how important it was to find ways for our kids to socialize. You can find a link to that post over in the blog. That's at www.havenofhopeforme.com. This originally posted in January of 2022. Now just because kids hit adulthood doesn't mean that they've learned all that they need to know about socializing effectively as adults. Typical kids continue to learn well into adulthood if they're smart. It's no different for individuals with special needs. Adults with special needs need to learn how to socialize well in the adult world. They need to understand that things are a bit different than when they were younger. But how and where do they learn these new skills? Well, the how is a bit easier to answer. And in many ways, it's no different than when they were kids, or teens anyway. They still enjoy learning by watching others and trying to copy what they see. While this sounds simple, it's more complex than it first appears. Many times, adults do things with nuance. They'll subtly adjust what they say or how they behave to be appropriate in the moment. They adjust to the situation. They quickly learn what they can do or say in one sitting that's appropriate, but isn't appropriate in another setting. And then they adapt their behavior accordingly. For individuals with special needs, these nuances are often missed or misunderstood. This means that they don't always understand what's going on around them, or they don't know how to judge when a particular behavior is appropriate or not. This can lead to major problems, or at least misunderstandings in a best case scenario. Figuring out safe places to learn these skills and nuances is one of the keys to making a successful transition. Friends who understand and are hard to offend are an incredible blessing if you can find them. Mentors, teachers, and others in similar positions are also beneficial since learning from family members is often fought against. Finding the right place to help learn socialization skills as an adult is tricky. Here's a few places that you could look for. In our area, there are a number of local organizations that focus specifically on adults with special needs. Most of them are founded by an individual with a family member who has special needs. Many of these organizations offer classes or group times where the whole purpose is to learn or practice appropriate social skills. Many of them offer classes or group times for different age groups so that things stay appropriate to the age group. A Google search and or asking other resources in your area about similar groups will hopefully point you in the right direction. A few phone calls or emails might be needed, but it's likely to be time well spent, especially if this is something that would be a good fit for your loved one. Some religious groups and or churches offer support or classes for individuals with special needs. Sometimes they'll offer assistance to your loved one to attend a typical class with a buddy so that they can participate with others of their own age group. While this is not the norm, I believe it is becoming more common at least in the circles that I'm in. It seems like the more special needs becomes known in a community, the more supports and locations become available and accessible to these individuals. Some places are also realizing that by supporting these individuals, they're really supporting the entire family. This means that if a family knows that their loved one with special needs is embraced and welcomed into a safe environment that they enjoy coming to, the family is likely to continue coming because they know their loved one is taken care of and they can focus on the service or class they're choosing to participate in. Now, there are also national organizations that work with individuals with special needs. ARC, Easter Seals, and Best Buddies are a few that come to mind quickly. A Google search for them will tell you if they have branches in your area. In our area, we also have a number of local organizations that focus on individuals with special needs. Many of these I've learned about by word of mouth from other friends who have loved ones with special needs. I'd ask around and see if there are similar organizations in your area. One final option, at least for this post, is looking for sports organizations that work with individuals with special needs. Special Olympics is an international organization whose whole for focus is to bring athletics to individuals with special needs. I believe you can start competing at age six or maybe eight, but then you can continue throughout your lifetime. Now, we also have an organization called Miracle League Las Vegas that does baseball for individuals with special needs. I have a number of friends whose family member has participated in their league and really enjoyed it. AJ was over his baseball phase by the time we learned about it, so we haven't participated in it personally. But once again, this is not an exhaustive list or of options or ways that adults with special needs can learn appropriate social skills. Rather, it's a short list of options that will, hopefully, 
provide a jumping off point for you to begin looking for options in your area. Whatever avenues you pursue, my hope is that you'll continue to help your loved one learn how to socialize appropriately and effectively to the best of their ability. It's just one more way that we can help them learn to live their best life and live it successfully. So my question for you this week is this, what types of social interactions and learning environments are best for your loved one? I'd love to hear your thoughts. You can leave me a comment below or you can leave me a comment over on the blog. Again, that's at www.havenofhopeforme.com. This was originally posted in January of 2022. If you prefer, you can always email me at christy, C-H-R-I-S-T-Y, at havenofhopeforme.com. I'm always looking for new opportunities to learn social skills so that I can continue to say that life is good and there is never a dull moment.